All right, what's up YouTube? So, I just discovered this video. I didn't even get the whole way through it yet. And this is, is uh, a hero. This is amazing right here. This guy, it's a perfect example of why you need to learn your rights, of why, um, why it's important that we learn our rights. Um, perfect example of the cops' stupidity, um, their abuse of power, how their authority and their um, the way things have been have gotten to this point because people just blindly do what they say and follow their orders. You need to watch this and take notes, learn from this guy. This is why it's important to understand your rights, learn your rights. And the only way we are going to be able to change it and get things back to the way it's supposed to be is if everybody learns this and understands why this guy is a hero and why this guy is right and the cops are wrong. Pay attention to this. This is, this is, uh, well, I came across this, uh, <laughs> somebody called it Superman's balls, right? This guy is Superman's balls. Pay attention. You know why you are pointing those guns at me right now? As soon as I get to the we can talk about it. But for my safety, this is what we're doing. Step out of the vehicle. Driver. You want to kill me? Kill me, buddy. Is that what you want to do? You want to go ahead and shoot me? My little dog, too? What's your problem with me? We'll talk right fucking now, buddy. You're a public servant. And you're going to answer my questions. Driver, this is not an Oh, uh, no, 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 sir. For my safety, I need you to step out of the No, vehicle. sir, I'm not stepping out of this vehicle. You want to have a conversation? Come have a conversation. Yeah, come back. You want to kill me? Come kill, go ahead and kill me. I don't want to kill you. Well, it looks like you do. You got your gun pointed at me. You got your gun pointed at me and I present absolutely no threat to you. You don't even know my name. That's why we're trying to find out. Come back here, please. No, sir, I'm not going to do that. You want to have a conversation? Get your superior out here right now. Your boss. Get him over here. Tell him he can have a conversation with me. Face to face, man to man. He can ask all the questions he wants. Right now you're obstructing and you're under arrest. And, you're, and you continue... Be arrest. You Do your job then. You this is all on film, sir. Well, I, I understand that. This is not in negotiation. Step out of the vehicle. I'm not negotiating with you either. You want me? Come and get me. I don't want to do this. <clears throat> they need to learn. What this. exactly is it you don't want to do, buddy? I don't want to have this kind of conversation with you. I want to have a. Looks like you want to shoot me. Is that what you want to do? Step out of the vehicle and come back towards me. Looks to me like both y'all want to shoot me. No, I feel very threatened. Nobody wants to shoot you. You got your guns pulled on me. You have no reason to put me under arrest or even talk to me. What law have I broken? Name one, articulate one law I've broken. Go ahead and articulate a law, buddy. No, 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 I'm not. You ain't, you have not told me any, you haven't named any facts about any investigation that you are investigating. I can tell you facts as soon as I have What are you investigating and what law do you think I've broken? What crime you think I've committed? Go ahead and start articulating them, buddy. You are trying to violate my first, second, third, fourth, and fifth amendments. That's all you're doing, man. You are a tyrant. I know the law. You don't know the law. Like hell, I don't know the law. Like hell, I don't know the law. What are you from California or Montana? Buddy, we can have that conversation another time. Not right, right now, it's not we need to have that conversation right now. Get, get your yeah. boss over here. Right now. Boss is aware of what's going on right now. Bring him right on over here. I'd like to have a talk with him, her, or shim, or they. Well, whatever their pronoun is. <clears throat> well, we're going to be sitting here for a long time. 
Well, guess what, man? You don't scare me with your guns. I'm not yep. trying to scare you. I'm trying to Looks like you are to me. I'm trying to protect myself. Yeah. From what? What's the threat? How, how am I threatening you? What threat do I present? What law have I broken, buddy? What law have I broken? What investigation are you investigating? What law has been broken that you need to investigate me? We're having that conversation right now, buddy. What's your name? My name is Deputy Atkins, badge number 544. What's your first name, Mr. Atkins? Badge number, yeah, that badge number doesn't identify you for shit. What's his name over there? What's Mr. Snipey doing? What's his name? He's trying to make sure I'm safe. What's his name? He's, He's sure a public servant. He has to identify himself. And what is his name? Environment safe, then we can identify ourselves. What is his name and what is his badge number? <clears throat> really? Well, y'all are breaking the law right now because y'all didn't identify yourselves right now to me. We're going to be sitting here until you come out of the vehicle. Guess what, man? I guess we're going to sit here forever. Good thing I brought chicken, huh? That's awesome. You brought chicken. What law do you think I broke? We'll have that conversation. No, we're not going to. You, you think you're going to do some bullshit like that? We're not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and roll this window back up. I'm going to stop talking to you. Put your hand outside the window. See, this guy obviously has already had enough a bad, you know, a bad interaction with police uh, to the point where he, he knows his laws. He knows his rights. He knows what they're all about or he wouldn't be acting like this. A normal person who's never been, in, you know, violated, who hasn't had that... Uh, that interaction, you know, you back the blue till it happens to you. If you've never actually had to deal with them in this capacity, then you would just listen to them. You'd be scared of their guns. You would think, oh, cops, cops, you know, wouldn't be doing something. They wouldn't be doing this unless they had a good reason, right? Unless this guy must have broken the law, right? That's what people think. No. Uh, he's, he's given them the opportunity right here. Articulate a crime, you know? give me any reason and this is their job they're supposed to be able to to establish reasonable articulated suspicion that a crime is being committed has been committed or is about to be committed and if they can't do that they don't have the probable cause they don't have ras they don't have reasonable articulated suspicion to do what they're doing right now right and and it's your right to ask these questions and it's their job to be able to establish reasonable articulated suspicion before they can do this but they never do and they come up with the shit after the after the fact they just lie on their police affidavits their sworn police affidavits they just make up whatever they want they get to go back after the fact and tweak everything around and just lie on a police affidavit in the meantime you're locked up in a cell they can say whatever they want about you and they put it all over the news and everything else and get everybody to believe it and they're tyrants and they've gotten too used to being, being able to do this and getting away with it. And they don't even have to be held accountable, even if this guy, you know, has found out that this guy was innocent and it was unjustified what the cops did to him. Well, they have qualified immunity. They have officer safety. And officer safety, uh, the courts have established that these cops can do this and they don't have to be held accountable because of officer safety. Because, well, they were just making sure that the officers are safe, so that's, that's, we're just going to throw this out, and, and you don't, you know, you don't get to be compensated for your mis misfortune, because they were doing it to make sure that they were safe, officer safety. What happened to protecting the Constitution, protecting, you know, the rights? They're supposed to protect your constitutional rights, your right to be protected in your person, place, and effects, your, your right to bear arms, your freedom of speech, right? Freedom to petition your government, freedom to, you know, tell them that you think they're jackboot thug pigs and they can go fuck themselves and without fear of retaliation, you know? It, it's just unbelievable the amount of uh, violations, constitutionally violations that are taking place right now. And this guy is a hero for just for demonstrating this and holding these people, holding the, their feet to the fire and making them, you know, 
making them do their job, but they won't. So why do they have guns on them? Why are they doing all that? Officer safety, right? <laughs> That's what you get, man. So far, I believe they are trying to kill him. Oh, they tried to kill me. Yeah. When you do the wrong thing here, you're dead. And then you don't get to argue your, your case. Y'all do this a lot? They do, they do do this a lot. Huh? Every day. What kind of criminal organization are you guys in that you, you think that you don't have to identify yourselves? The Blue Line Gang. Why do you have your I'm guns have pulled on me? Huh? I'm not having that why, why you got guns on me? It's a safe environment. Why do you have guns on me? Because do I have guns on you? Do I have guns on you right now? How am I Answer the fucking question, asshole. Nice. Swear, man. Please I, I'll swear at you if I fucking want to, buddy. First yeah. Amendment. Freedom of speech, Second Amendment, the right to, to, yeah, guess what, what's the Second Amendment, buddy? Okay. Name the Second Amendment to me. What is the Second Amendment, man? What's the First Amendment? You, you're not here to protect the Constitution at all, are you? You ain't doing a damn thing constitutional right now, are you, buddy? Are you? None of this shit you're doing is legal, is it? concept of No, it is not. Officer safety has ruined <laughs> the fuck you wouldn't you know what you thought you had some pansy ass sissy ass motherfucker here uh, no I'm not gonna do it shoot me if you want to man fuck you shoot me if you want to go ahead do me a favor do me a favor fuck face shoot me go ahead put me pull one right here it's a 556 in it who else is in the vehicle with you you don't need to ask, ask any questions, buddy. How many other people are in the vehicle? I ain't gonna answer no fucking questions of yours. How many other people are in the vehicle? Hey, man. Kiss my ass. <laughs> kiss my ass. <sighs> I love it. Well, guess what? I'm not scared of you, and I don't give a shit. Nothing you're doing right now is legal. Nope. You got guns on me for no reason. You cannot articulate a fucking crime you think I've committed. So if they can't the scene will be safe once there's not assholes pointing guns at a citizen of the USA who has broken no laws. Right. That's what makes this illegal. I do know that. Where's your left hand? If they can't, My left hand's wherever the fuck I want it to be, buddy. Shoot me if you want to. Do you see a gun pointed at you right now? I can't tell. Do you see anything? Do you see a threat? I, I can't tell. Shoot me if you want to, motherfucker. Go for it. Shoot me if you want to all day. Do you think I'm scared of you? You think I give a fuck if you kill me? Huh? No, I don't give a fuck if you kill me. But if y'all want to do this, we can do it either my way or your way. My way is going to be y'all go home. Yeah. Leave me the fuck alone. Right. Or you can prove something right here and right now. Yep. You can come up with some shit. And, and, and tell me what you think I've done that you've got me under gunpoint right now for. They can't even do it, though. Okay, well, guess what? I can inhibit the fuck out of this. You don't have the right to withhold evidence from me. Right. When you say you are conducting an ev investigation, you do not have the right to lie to me and tell me you're investigating something that you cannot articulate. Boom. You have no articulable suspicion whatsoever, do you? See, do they, you? And if they can't, then they're breaking the law. What crime do you suspect me of committing? Let me see your left hand. If he no. Could, Let me see your left hand. Fuck you. If he could, he would do it. Every time you ask for that, you're going to get a fuck you, you pig. Okay. You're, you're a fucking pig. Let me see your left hand. No. Jack boot the fuck you, man. Fuck you. In the horse fuck you and your little boyfriend over there, too. Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah, there is. If, you know what? If y'all gonna kill me, I'm gonna swear at you as much as I want. Fucking right. You may as well go ahead and do it right now, though. Yeah. Quit wasting time. Your face looks like such a cocksucker. That's great. <laughs> All puckered up and... But they're, they're tyrants. They they back each other up. They... You know, they're they... Out of that vehicle, just so you know. One way or another. Yeah, you're not taking me out of here live. 
Well, guess what? <clears throat> that ain't gonna happen. This is why it's important to stand on your rights. How many weapons you got in yours? How many weapons did you have in yours? I think a better question to ask would be how fucking effective am I with them? Yeah. How effective are you with yours, buddy? Yeah. Guess what, man? I ain't coming out of here. No. I ain't coming out of here alive, man. You no. want to kill me? Kill me. Do it. Do it. Weapon. But go ahead and just kill an innocent man for no fucking reason. His weapon. Go on, do it. His weapon is knowledge. Do it. Knowledge of the rights. Wasn't speeding. Sorry. <laughs> committed no crimes. None whatsoever. This guy is using his super superpower right now. His weapon is his rights, his knowledge, right? Knowledge is your power. They can never take it from you. And you can you can defeat all of this shit with knowledge and the truth. That's it. The truth can stand by itself and up against all the scrutiny against everything and still prevail. The truth is the most powerful weapon that you can that you can harness. And knowledge of your rights is more powerful than any gun and any bunch of cops and any any you know officer safety qualified immunity it doesn't matter your rights that your knowledge of your rights the constitution and the truth those those things together you know with with no fear we can we can put put this back the way it's supposed to be teach these cops how they're supposed to act teach them how to do their job because they don't fucking know how to do it sure. All I've been doing is enjoying myself, enjoying life. Eat, this is the state I'm from. Eating chicken. Picking huckleberries, taking walks with my kitty cats, practicing my bow and arrow. What the fuck's illegal about that? What's illegal about it, man? What is illegal about that shit? You got a bow and arrow? What is illegal about you, any you of got it? got a bow and arrow? Dude. That's what he heard from that. I'm asking you the fucking questions, buddy. You don't run this show. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. I do run this show. I do. I'm the star of this fucking show. Right. I'm the main fucking ca character in Living Fact. I'm the guy that's got guns pointed at me. I'm running this show. The fuck you think you are? Yep. He's not taking orders. What's the deal? Why are you got? Who sent you out here to kill me? I don't know. Huh? Why my phone just did that. Who sent you guys out to kill me? Gentlemen, if you're about to execute me, I deserve to know why. Yes. Hi, you can see both my hands. He's yeah, even, he's even and you still want to shoot me. It's not fucking happening. You can't tell me why. Right. And if you can't tell me why you want me out of this car, it's only because you're trying to kill me. Yeah. I'm not that fucking stupid. Nope. Superman's balls. This is all gonna look real bad. Just real gonna look real bad. Kill me all you want. Real bad. That's fine. I don't give a fuck. Look, I don't have any reasons to live anyways. Y'all done take everything you could from me already. All right, here comes all the light. See, he said that right there. They did the same thing to me. That's what got me in the position that I'm at, where I don't give a fuck anymore. Um, there's nothing else they can do to me. They don't scare me anymore. They already tried to kill me twice. They took everything I have, except for my knowledge. And thank God, I still have... They tried to take my kids from me, my loved ones, right? By brainwashing them, trying to convince them that their dad's something that, that them, they're not. The, the cops did this. Absolutely did this. And it didn't work. They don't like that. They're mad. They don't like getting showed up. They really don't like it. They don't like being made fools of. But, you know, sorry, actions have consequences. When you guys don't, uh, you underestimate people and you don't think about the possible consequences before you go and try to fuck with somebody's life, that's your, that's your problem. That's not mine. My job now my purpose is to educate other people about you. You guys are the threat. And it's my job to educate other people about the threat. Right? Because you never know when it's going to be you. 
on the, on the other side of this. You never know when this could be you or your son or daughter or mother or father, brother, sister, uncle, cousin. You never know. And you don't know until it's too late, till after you're already gone through this. And, and too many times, too many times when this situation comes to a point like this, it ends badly. It ends with the person tragically losing their life. And you know what would have changed the situation? Knowledge. Somebody had knowledge of their rights. And if they knew this ahead of time, then it would have had a different result. Knowledge by the cops, if the cops understood their rights and their job better, if they understood their duties better, or knowledge when you're the victim of the Blue Line Gang. If you're the victim and you know your rights and you understand them, then you, ha you just naturally, the fear just leaves. Whenever you learn your rights and you understand, you know, what your rights and the job duties are, then you don't have any fear because you know, you know, you understand the power that you have when you learn your rights. It, it's unbelievable the power that you gain from the knowledge of your rights. Trust me. It's oh, oh all the lights. All, all the, the lights. lights so you can blind me when, when you kill me. Yep. Yeah. Real smart, gentlemen. They don't need brains. They have officer safety. <laughs> Anybody who watches this, no, these are tyrants. Yep. Do not, do not ever let tyrants dictate what you do. No. Nope. Fuck you, man. You can see my left hand. Get those goddamn lights out of my eyes. Or keep them in my eyes. I don't give a shit. You're going to kill me anyhow. He figures he's already dead. I'm guessing. don't want to hurt you. We just want you to get out of the No, you just want to kill me. You don't want to <laughs> hurt me. You just want to kill me. Right? I want you to get out of the car. Why? Yeah, why? That's not a lawful order. It's not a lawful order unless you can articulate a fucking crime that you think I committed. Yeah, it's not a lawful order. It's an illegal bullshit order. Put your left hand out of the car. Fuck you! You can see my left hand! These Fuck you all! So used to getting their way. Just go ahead and shoot me! They don't... Do it! Neighbors! They don't hey! care. They'll violate them. Everybody own... out there, look! This, this is funny. They're gonna kill me! Guys! Neighbors! They're going to shoot me! Why do you guys want to shoot me? Why is it you want to kill me? Huh? Why couldn't you have followed me up to the forest and just made it quiet? Right. All right. Put your left hand Fuck out. you, you can see my left hand, asshole. Fuck you all. Just shoot me. Just do it. Do it already. Pussies. Fucking pussies. Why are you pigs trying to kill me? Why? Can you get a hostage negotiator out here? There's like five guys holding a guy hostage for no reason. Establish what they want. Why? Why? <laughs> All you have to do is explain RAS, reasonable articulated suspicion. If they have it, just explain it. Not hard. I don't think they have it. They don't have it at all. And they realize that. They don't know what to do now. They don't know how to back down from the situation. They're stupid. Fucking dumb tyrants. This is what you have happens when you go ahead and shoot me, man. When you put a bunch Come on, of you want to. 
Bunch of dumbasses. With yes, you do. Why do you have guns pulled on me? A combination with guns Why aren't you getting out of the car? and authority. I have no need to get out of this car. Okay, well. This car is a private space that once I get out of, you assholes will, will most certainly try 100%. You're going to take it. You're going to violate all my <coughs> rights. Yeah, take his car. And that's why I'm not going to get out of this car. You can kill me. You can drag me out of the car all you like. I know that's all you're out here to do is kill me. So just do it. It's probably his his home. I know this is. I I already know for sure that this is just a hit job. Pretty much. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. So why can't you articulate a crime? Like I told you, I will articulate that as soon as the scene is safe. The scene will be safe once people are no longer pointing guns at me, my head. Why are you pointing guns at me? Yeah. Why? It's for my safety. <clears throat> Okay, My so safety. what threat are you under? Who's pointing a gun at you? How many guns you got in the car? That's not your fucking business, asshole. I see at least two. I don't give a rat's ass what you see. You have a right to bear arms. I'm a Montana boy. There ain't no limit on how many guns I can have. That's good, then we can have that conversation as soon as you're safe. Well, I'd be safe once there's no longer assholes with guns at my head. <clears throat> so the Missoula SWAT team's coming out. And what are they gonna do? Shoot flash bang grenades into my car? Try to force me out? Whoa, ho. You all think that I haven't trained for this moment, huh? <laughs> Go ahead and just kill me then. I haven't broken a single law. Not one. They're talking to me about it. You gotta come out here and talk to me about it. Nope. They're talking to you now. Why can't you That's talk just to words you? of entrapment. Why on earth would you want me out of this car? Tell me why you want me out of here. What reason do you want me out of that car for? Because you have guns in that car and it's Uh-huh. Are any of my guns illegal? We don't know that. So. Guess what? You don't need that like how how could I possibly have illegal guns? Right. No, not not a ha not not happening, buddy. You didn't pull me over because I have guns. My guns are legal. That's not why you pulled me over. Why did you pull me over? And why do you want to talk to me? And why do you have guns pointed at my head? Answer the fucking question, guys. Am I pointing guns at you right now? No, already, I am not. They already have a plan, obviously. This is what they did to me. It's none of your damn business. If you don't even know my name, then, like, that's the thing. Like, wh what law do you think I commit, like, uh, I've broken if you don't know my name? And Why the fuck are you guys following me around? Come out of the vehicle, no! Why are you guys following me around? What's this all about? Go ahead and get Missoula SWAT out here. And try to create a scenario where love they, can, to talk to them. they can legally kill you. In my situation, if I would have... Uh, you where I can sit. Fuck you, man. <coughs> fuck you, I'm rolling my window up. <laughs> where I can sit. Fuck you. That's great. Pig. Where I can fuck sit. you, pig. Fuck you. You can see it. Dad's almost here. You want to talk to him, right? My dad is not almost here. Dad's almost here. You want to talk to him, right? What, are you on the phone with him? Who's bringing him? You dad? Huh? <coughs> Where is my pop? Why'd you say that if it's not true? Why? Why are you guys trying to kill me? Why? Why are you assholes pointing guns at me? You know, the only one scared by this is my dog. <laughs> I don't give a shit that you all want to kill me. Just do it. Do it already. There you go. There you go. There it is. 
There's the guy. He, that, that guy, he's the one who's going to do it, huh? It's him. Okay. <sighs> Yo, my hands are falling asleep. You pigs keep telling me to put them out the window so you can see them. You've been able to see them this whole fucking time. Man, Fuck you, man. pig. No. Fuck you. Fuck you all. Where's my dad? Huh? Where is he? He'll be coming. Where is he? I don't know where he is. Let me see your hands. Fuck you, dude. Where's my father? And why'd you promise he's coming? He said he's coming. Who said he's coming? He did. Who talked to him? Dispatch. Which dispatch? Our dispatch. Why are you guys out here? Who dispatched you? What's the dispatch call say? Why were you dispatched? You just came out here to try to kill me, didn't you? Just fucking standard pigs. What is this about? Right, why can't they tell him? <clears throat> they get off on this shit. Right here, huh? That's where you got your red dot, ain't it? Good for you. <clears throat> why are there six men with guns on me right now? Hmm? Where is my father? There's more coming. Where is he? Just so you know, none of you pigs are gonna take me. <coughs> none of you. So what law did I break? Which one of you guys knows which law I broke? What did I do? Can you tell me what I did? Hey fatty, fat man, I've got donuts and chicken if you if you answer that me. Do you want some chicken or donuts? Want some chicken? How about fresh huckleberries? Can I bribe you guys with fresh huckleberries? How about that? Just tell me what law you think I broke. If you could tell me which law you think I broke, I might even come out of this car. But you can't. You can't tell me which law you think I broke. Nope. Just pigs. That's it. Bunch of pigs with guns. When they're itching, you use them. They're just itching. Why do you guys have guns on me? You probably all have hard-ons right now. How hard would it be to tell them? Really? They get off on this shit. Seriously. And how many times do you think it ends the other way? Whee! Why are you all trying to threaten me with your guns? What law do you think I broke? What makes you think any of this, what you're doing is legal? Which one of you can answer me? I don't know. Every one of us as soon as you step out of the vehicle. No, you have to answer me before I step out of the vehicle. Right. Why can't they tell him? Probably already conjured up some reason. Why are you all threatening me with violence when I've been peaceful to you? A reason for arrest. All right? I've asked you is what law do you think I broke? Was I speeding? No, I'm not going to do that. 
What do you think I did? No, man. I'm, we're not. No. If you need any any information from me, just go ahead and get it off my license plate. You can run my tag. You should already know what my name is and everything. You're supposed to know my name, date of birth, and address based on all that shit, aren't you? Probably even social security number. Probably a Do I have? Is there a warrant for my arrest, Wait, sir? That's a good question, right there. Is there a warrant for my arrest right now? You have to tell me. If there's a warrant for my arrest, you have to tell me. Now you're under arrest because you're obstructing... No, I'm not. I'm not obstructing anything. You're <laughs> under arrest just as much as I am because you're obstructing me from getting a good night's rest, from being able to feed my, my pets, and from being able to eat myself. How many pets do you have? That's none of your fucking business, is it? I'm just trying to talk to you. Oh, well, guess what? I don't want to talk to you. I just want to go home. So you can either kill me or let me go. Fuck you, dude. You can see my elbow. That's good enough. If you can see my elbow, you can see my hand. Put your hand back Fuck you, guys. You're making my hands go to sleep. Well, Fuck you all. Away, I'm not going to do that. You just want to have a better access and easier shot. Ha ha. No. You're going to have to pull off whatever they fucking taught you if you want to kill me. Who are you hitting me for? Is it the Chinese? Huh? I'm pretty sure you guys are all Chinese assets. Seems That's what like it looks it. like to me. Seems like they're all following orders. I wonder if any of them even know. The fuck put you up to this? Why aren't you articulating something? You can't articulate a goddamn thing, can you? Give me your hand. Fuck you. So I wonder how that how that turns out. <laughs> oh, piggy. Oh, see, it's not over yet. I can't see his hand. Put your hand out the window. Fuck you, piggy. Fuck you. You can see everything you need to see right now, and more. Maybe showing him my middle. All you're doing is disturbing me. That's about it. Disturbing the peace. None of you are doing your jobs. Nope. Nothing but a bunch of corrupt things. Whose constitutional rights are they protecting here? That's their job. Where's my dad? Where is he? Huh? Why do you all have guns up pointed out my head? Why? That's where they like to point them. I don't know why they don't shoot people in the leg, the arm. Okay, aim right for your head. You're looking at a corrupt pig right there. Yep. Right there, right there, and right there. Jedediah. Jedediah. I don't answer to that, man. You don't know me. What's your name? You don't know me, do you? No, I don't know you. No. Where's my father? I have no idea. Well, guess what? When he gets here, I'll talk to you then. Okay, so if my name is under Sheriff Wayne Cashman. Why are you stopping me, Sheriff Wayne Cassidy? Because you were trespassing up on your campsite. Are you sure? Uh, that's yes. Who told me I was trespassing? Service LE. The first Forest Service LE came to me and said to me that I was trespassing? He tried to. You ran from him. That's bullshit. Well, Forest Service was out there today and I sat down and looked at them. They didn't even get out of their cars. They stayed for maybe two or three minutes and left. So how could that be trespassing if it's National Forest property? I'm a U.S. citizen, that's National Forest land, it does not say no trespassing anywhere, and nobody asked me to leave. So no, you're lying to me, it's not a trespass. Oh, I'm not lying to you. What law did I break? That's you not, right now. by the way, uh, that's also not even a thing. You cannot trespass somebody who nobody asked to leave right. under circumstances where they are on public property and there is not any guidance saying that they cannot camp there. 
So that's a, again, you're lying to me. Well, no, I'm. I'm yeah, you, you, you're, 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 you're just bull. You're bullshitting me. How we got here. So what law did I break? That's not one. Well, right now, that's how you came to our attention. Oh, is it? Is that how you started stalking me? We saw the plate. We did a, we ran your plate. You don't have a driver's license. Yes, I do. Uh, provided. I don't need to give you a driver's license though, because I'm not under a traffic stop. You okay, didn't break a law. You call this. Uh, you haven't stopped me. You have not stopped me for anything. You stopped me for nothing. You got me out here, guns pulled for nothing. So even if, for example, you wanted to trespass me from my campsite, you would have to meet me there and then you'd have to peacefully tell me, hey, sir, well, uh, we're, this spot we're right here is not for camping island. on. Even come talk to yeah, and you need to move and you'd have to so give now, me a good, at least 24 car, hours to move. Now we've moved on to other things. Yeah, no, that's not correct. Well, yeah, that is correct. So why do you want to kill me? Tell me why you want to kill me. Why is that? Why do you have guns drawn? You couldn't have said any of that shit to me just peacefully? You couldn't have walked up? You couldn't have put a post-it note on my tent? Huh? Why, why can't you talk now? What happened to you? No, I'm right here. I'm listening to what you have to say. Yeah, so why couldn't you have actually said anything? We Instead, you just come up guns drawn. We were not at your campground. Okay, well, why weren't you? That's exactly where you should be. So you don't even know if I have a campground or where it's at, do you? Did I, we'll talk about that as soon as you're No, we're not gonna talk about that and I'm not coming out there to talk to you. If you wanna kill me, kill me inside my car. That's where I'd right, prefer to get killed. Well, we're not gonna kill you in your car. Unless well, okay, you wanna kill me on the pavement? That's where I don't wanna get killed. So kill me in here. This is where my leather seats are comfort and my ass is comfortable. This is where I've got fried chicken and water. So, you want to go ahead and keep this whole standoff going? We'll do it, no problem. But okay, that's, that's I'm not leaving this car alive, and my father's going to be here to witness you killing me. So, blah blah. You want to do it before he gets here? So, so why, why do you want to die? I never said I want to die. I just said you'd be doing me a favor. Well, clearly. Yeah. Well, you know, you're just such a pain in my ass that if you don't let me go, I'd rather you just shoot me because I want to go to bed. I haven't broken a law. I'm not trespassing anywhere. You guys are making up fucking lies. And you have guns drawn on me. So it's me who deserves to know all this stuff. Well, I'm the dude. Out. I'm the central part of your fucking attention right now. I'm the only thing you got going on tonight. You better answer my questions and stop fucking lying. I'm doing the best I can to answer your questions. Well, why are you lying, though? I'm not lying at all. That's all they do is lie. So I'm not trespassing, and you're not trespassing me. I, I wasn't speeding. Past that. Okay, I wasn't speeding. I didn't fail the signal. With putting a gun, showing a gun. No, that's wrong. You're lying. I can have a gun all I want. It's yes, called open can. carry. I can open carry all I please in this fucking state, buddy. Anybody, including law enforcement, with that gun. And What's that, that, sir? What's that? It's called open carry. You cannot threaten law enforcement with that. Did I threaten you? That out the window, that's correct. No, it is not. And it is not out the window. It has never been out the window. So that wasn't a threat, and I just proved to you that you're lying again. I'm absolutely allowed to open carry. Open carry is 100% something I'm allowed to do. Well, that's what I'm doing. Did you uh, think I was doing something different? Uh, we don't know because we don't know who So you are. How, how stupid are you? Why don't you know? We don't know who you are. Did they not train you how to discern between a threat and, and not a threat? Someone who's open carrying and someone who's threatening you? You didn't uh, learn that I, in, uh, in basic training? Absolutely. So why don't you know that right now? Why, so why not, don't you know that? Not, I, hang on a second. Let's, let's, let's recap everything. I haven't broken any laws. You can see both my hands. You've been able to see both my hands the whole fucking time here. Um, all you're doing is annoying me. I didn't, did I speed through your town? No. Did I blow a stop sign? No. Did I feel, what is the crime? What crime do you think I committed? You're inhibiting our 
investigation. What are you investigating, though? Because you, you have to tell me what you're investigating and how it perter pertains to me. If you're investigating a crime pertaining to me, you must tell me. And hang on a second. Do you have a warrant for my arrest? Do you have a warrant? Then no, you can't arrest me. And no, there's no reason I get, no way in fucking hell I get out of this car. So either just do the hit and finish killing me, just do it already. You've got a sniper up the road at 100 yards, just let him do it. He could plug me right through the windshield. Or there's well, all seven of y'all. No, why do you want to do this? Why do you want to kill me? You don't have a warrant, do you? Do you have a warrant? Right now you're under arrest for what's happening. No, I'm not. You can't even you can't even say you're under arrest without reading me my rights. You didn't even do that. Fail. So you can't even say to me the the words you are under arrest without reading me my rights. You didn't. And you can't read my rights to me without having a warrant. And you can't have a warrant without having a reasonable and articulable suspicion of a crime that was committed by yours truly, AKA me. That's right. They're wrong. And it's illegal to tell someone to get out of their car if you've got none of that. They're intimidating somebody with guns, John. They're breaking the law right now. So either kill me or see the day that you all get sued for this. They're violating a bunch of his amendments. It's, it's the only thing that's gonna happen. And besides, yeah. if you kill me, the reason it would be good if you killed me is because my parents could then sue you guys for even more money. Be good for them. They could use the cash. So do it, so because they can sue you for just basically wrongfully murdering me. You got no reason to do this. Ain't none of you who can say one thing. Not one of you has a reasonable, articulable suspicion of any crime you think I've committed. Now, after the fact, they can write up a bunch of shit on, on a police affidavit and get people to believe it. That just make just it so y'all know, I will always, I will always stand up for myself and anybody else who's being victimized by tyrants. Always, always. Thank you. I was raised that way, born that way. Went 4-H and got taught that way too. Went to fair and, and practiced that. Went out in real life and lived it. So get on with the killing, guys. You ain't nothing but hitmen to me. Chinese assets is what you are. Seems like it. Hey, call my dad, will you? His number is 406. One common sense. 824. Zero, 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 three. Amongst all of them? Is there you got of that, them? Papa Sar Sergeant? Any of them with half a brain? 406 You got it? No, you're not going to do that? Okay. Yeah, I can't even answer the phone because y'all are going to scream, Jimmy, your hands, Jimmy, your hands! Yep. Yep, he's got a gun. <laughs> so you've got no reason to pull me over. And we're just sitting here pointing guns at me, waiting for me to open the door so you can shoot me in the head. Yep. Classic. Classic police hit. <sighs> you go by Jack? Are you calling my dad or not? Do you go by Jack? Do you, are you going to call my dad or not? I'm trying to talk to you. Why? Because I'm trying to explain. We've been more than patient with you. Are you going to articulate a reasonable there suspicion? There are reasons why we have you stopped right now. You are not free to leave. And we want you out of the vehicle so we can peacefully talk to you. Why? 
giving you multiple reasons. You've you haven't given me one fucking reason. You've lied to me every single time. You're lying to me now. I can't they talk to him You now? want me out of the car so you can kill me on the pavement. We don't want to hurt you. No, you just want to kill me. We don't want to kill you. Why are your guns pointed at me then? Because you're Why are you all in murderous you positions? A, you have a firearm that we can see through the window. You cannot see a firearm it through the window. I am opening, open carrying my legal firearms, which I am entitled to carry under Second Amendment and under the fact that I camp in bear and coyote territory and need them for my own personal protection against the wild. So what the fuck's your problem now? You can't see a gun. It is not pointed at you. It's not a threat to you in any way. I have informed you I am open carrying. You know I'm open carrying. You know I didn't break any laws. You know I'm not trespassing. You know that the part of the uh, forest that I'm on is not private, period. And it is absolutely open to camping and to uh, taking pictures. Well, if it's private, it has to say so, and someone has to tell me carefully and gently that I need to leave. They need to do it the right way. Come out of that vehicle so we can discuss that. No. No, not, not happening. That is an over my dead body thing. You want to shoot me? Shoot me. But you really don't have a reason, and we all know this is a big fucking hit. It's just a hit. I already know who wants me dead. And you know who wants me dead too. So just go ahead and get the job y'all got paid to do over with. My dad's coming out here to collect my remains anyways once you get done. Aren't, aren't you gonna shoot me? Huh? I know you're not gonna let me see my dad anyways. I know you already have the traffic stopped a half mile back that way. Dad's not being stopped. Dad's being instructed to come up here. Mm-hmm. I believe what I see, and all I see is a bunch of assholes with guns pointed out my head who can't tell me anything that they think I've done wrong. You cannot articulate any suspicion of any crime to me. And you cannot articulate if you have a warrant for my arrest or not. Do you have a warrant for my arrest or do you not? No, you do not. Okay. And do you suspect me of co committing a crime in your state? Jed? Do you suspect me of committing a crime in this state or not? Jed? Answer the question, man. Mr. Sheriff Cashman. They kill that spotlight, we. Yeah, I, I actually hear you saying if we kill him, we can kill him. No, no, I said kill the spotlight. Here's the deal. Yeah, we, we don't have anything but misdemeanor charges on you right now. Misdemeanor what? Force a shooting at this point. What's that? We are not going to force a shooting at this point. So we're going to clear and send you on your way. Okay, and we'll write this up. We'll send it to the county attorney. We'll I'm going to believe what I see, man. Well, I'm telling you what we're going to do so you know what's happening when we start moving. I'm, I'm telling you. And so you're telling me you want me to pack up camp and move as soon as I can? Yes or no? That would probably be a good idea. All right. Are you going to give me a good solid 24 hours that's reasonable to do that? Well, I will give you enough time as it takes to get an arrest warrant. Into what? So. Into what, sir? Get a, to get an arrest warrant. What's that mean? Uh, you'll have enough time until as long as it takes us to write the report and request a search warrant with the information that we have. If we get one, then we'll come back out. If not, then, so I'm leaving it in your hands. Alrighty, so you're gonna give me time to pack up my camp, which you claim is on private property. That is what I'm telling you. I'm, as much time as it takes to write a report and, and seek a search warrant. And none of these guys are gonna follow me up and jump me in the woods and try and kill me there? Nope. You promise? It's clear. You promise my life is safe? Yes. I can leave and pack up my camp and peacefully move elsewhere. As soon as we clear, you are free to go. 
And none of you are gonna follow me and jump me up the road, yeah? That's why you're gonna stay put till we're clear. No, we're not, no, we will not. I'm not gonna send you into town where other people can get hurt if something goes wrong, no. We're trying to do the right thing. You're, you make some valid points. I'm seeing that we don't have any felony- Valid points? I have nothing that you and should I'm be not, doing this I'm to me for. push this to a shooting. So, no, we're gonna clear. Just give us time, just a few minutes to get out of here, and we're gonna clear. You fucking better. We're on our way. You fucking better be. And by the way, tell me you're sorry. Go ahead and just say it. I am sorry for inconveniencing you, sir. Say it to me. You're still getting sued for this. They won't say it. They won't fucking say it. Internal Affairs is going to look into all of you guys for this shit. I do know you guys are all Chinese assets, by the way. So this is one you of their... You should have just killed me. This is their attempts that didn't work. Just like when they attempted that my, to kill me. It didn't work. I don't believe what you told me because I see your sniper heading up the road. <coughs> I'd be skeptical too if I were him. Obviously, the fact that this is on YouTube, though, he didn't die. So I guess that's it. So you see how powerful it is when you know the law, you know your rights, and you stand on your rights, right? Nine times out of ten, these cops don't know the law. All they know is they're their authority and they always get their way and and they know they have a gun and a badge and a bunch of other cops that will back them up right and they they don't ever have to you know they don't ever get put in their place they don't have accountability at all and that's why they are the tyrants that they are that's why they act the way they do because they always get their way you know they don't operate very well whenever somebody tells them what's up you know, when they have the gun and a badge and they've, they've known nothing more than getting their way all the time and then getting, you know, getting uh, their, their, uh, their stance just gets reinforced over and over again, you know, when they're, with their authority their abuse of their power, and then when they do this to people, it just gets reinforced and reinforced, and then even rewarded, right? To the point where it, it just literally programs them to think that they can just do this, get away with it, and then they don't really listen when somebody to explains to them, you know, you don't have the right, this is not legal. They don't care because... They've just been reinforced over and over and over again to, to just do what they want, right? So they don't listen when people, people say stuff. They're the ones that think that they have authority over everybody else. And they don't have to listen because there's no accountability, no consequences. You know, it's not like they get consequences if they don't listen to somebody, right? And that's fucked up because... You're the boss. You know, they're supposed to protect and serve our constitutional rights. That's their job. So when they come, you know, for somebody, it really whoever they're coming for is the boss. And that's that's no that's no lie. Unless they have legal documentation. It's like like he said, do you have a warrant? And they didn't have a warrant. He called them on their shit. And they had to <laughs> He called them on their shit. They had to do what they had to do, right? And like they said, right at this point right now, we have nothing more than misdemeanor offense against you. That's what they had against me, right? Whenever Officer Dilhol tried to kill me, right? Only he just lied and said that they had a felony arrest warrant. Only whenever I went to... Then he arrested me whenever I went to jail and talked to um, the... The judge, Judge Prebish, who used to be the uh, the warden at the jail for years, he immediately explained to me, well, I see some mistakes here. That's the first thing he said. I see some mistakes here. Um, it appears that, that uh, they 
they call it a felony. They have it listed here as a felony, but I've I've looked it up and and this is a a ungraded misdemeanor at best. And then he asked me if I had any priors, which I didn't. And he said he said, "Yeah, I didn't think so. I I looked and I didn't see any." And that's the only situation where there's a a um you know, an an exception, you know, if you have priors, then certain misdemeanors could be elevated to a felony offense. So he had already looked that up. So he said, yeah, uh, right off the bat, I see some mistakes here. So all they did was write, write felony on a piece of paper, right? And that's after they fucked up. And that's what gave them the supposed right, okay, to do what they did against me when Dilhul tried to kill me the second time, okay? And uh, I pushed and pushed and, and said, you know, no, I went body cam, I went dash cam. And they knew, they knew damn well that they fucked up, that they, somebody um, altered records, right? Whenever they had charges, ungraded misdemeanors, right? That were, not to mention, they, they took a year and 10 months, a year and 10 months to even charge, so it was an incident that happened a year and 10 months prior to that. They had two more months and statute of limitations would have ran out on, on it. So two more months. So they just took a situation that was a year and a year and eight months or a year and 10 months prior to that. And then they lied on a police affidavit, made up a bunch of shit, a bunch of bullshit. And then they called it a felony. That's it. And I could show you all the paperwork. Um, the, way, the way it all worked out, the timeline... It's, they, they kept trying to do this, they tried to do this, they tried to do this, and then as soon as it didn't work out, as soon as my, the, um, as soon as they finally dismissed the trespassing charges, the defiant trespass from whenever they broke into my apartment, they drug that out for a year, and then they dismissed the charges, they dismissed the charges, they tried to get me to pay court costs, right, admitting guilt so that they'd be free from my, free from, my. Uh, being liable for, uh, you know, lawsuit. And I said, I'm not paying court costs. Why would I pay court costs? I didn't do it. They're, they're the ones requesting to dismiss the charges because they don't have any evidence and they know it. They fucked up. As far as I'm concerned, they're wasting my time. Several dates that I had to appear in court over and over again when they were dismissing the charges, right? When they were the ones that violated my rights, they broke into my apartment and arrest me at gunpoint with no legal standing, with no warrant, without announcing themselves, and they, they were going to kill me then. My son was there and recorded it, though. Just the way everything worked out, right? I have somebody's looking out for me, and it's not the police. <laughs> it's, it's a higher power who's been looking out for me, and everything happens for a reason, right? And it's because of this series of events that that I'm alive today and that I'm doing what I'm doing today. Everything happens for a reason, you see? And the reason that I feel my purpose now, my entire purpose is to educate others, right? On their rights, educate others um, about the dangers of what these people do or what they, you know, what they can do and the dangers of not knowing your rights, the dangers of not understanding the law and your rights what can happen you know and that's that's my whole purpose my whole purpose is to educate people and spread awareness that when they don't get their way right and they they get made to look like a fool then they do this vigilante justice shit and they target you right it's targeting and there's all kinds of fucking disinformation shit online to make you think that it's spiritual, to make you think that it's uh, aliens, to make you think all this crazy shit, right? But you're just on a fucking federal watch list. And they get they get to do all this shit to you and spend all this money because they don't have to answer to anybody. It's under the guise of national security, right? They don't have to disclose any of it to anybody. So that goes to show you how much lack of integrity they have. Because they don't have to show anybody any of this, they exploit it and they take advantage of it and they spend all this extra money because they can just to fuck with somebody. 
and they do it because nothing else worked, right? So then they're going to try to do it in a way that they get everybody against that person, right? That they smear their name, they destroy their credibility, they try to drive them crazy so they can create some situation where they can just take them out easily and then just write it up as, oh, he was mentally unstable. He he was crazy, right? He had... <laughs> And it's it's so they do it time and time and time again. You can look at the pattern; it's not hard to see. So if you're to being targeted, don't believe what you hear. Don't believe me. Don't believe any of this shit. Just discern what you see for yourself, okay? And just try to remember all of these little details. You know, don't don't let them cloud you with all this dis- disinformation. Don't let them. You know, let you stray down a certain path to make you think that, that you know, this is what it is or that's what it is. There's a bunch of paths that they can send you down, right? To where if you believe it's this or that, there's no longer anybody to hold accountable, you know, tangibly. So then they're off the hook because then you're not looking at them anymore. That's all they care about is to get the attention off themselves. So whenever you <clears throat> you do focus, though, on who is doing it, right? Who is behind this targeting and who's behind this? Whose game is this? Law enforcement, okay? The DOJ, the um, Homeland Security, NSA, FBI. I'm not going to say CIA because CIA is, is foreign. They're supposed to be on foreign soil. It's not really... Central Intelligence Agency doesn't, I don't think they really deal in this low of a, you know, this stupid domestic type terrorism. That's Homeland Security. Homeland Security, though, they absolutely have all these programs, right, where they can get paid a bunch of money to investigate somebody. And they're, they're not out to solve a crime. No, their investigation is just to get more, just to gain information, and then a bunch of people get in on this and they realize how much it's a money grab. They realize how much of an opportunity there is there to grab more money, more taxpayer dollars and spread it around to their family and friends and everything as long as they can keep an open investigation and they have to keep getting information. They have to keep creating these creating these reasons for the investigation. So they have to almost manufacture the crime. They have to manufacture the threat right? They have to manufacture the threat of terrorism. And it's gotten out of control, way out of control. And there's a lot of people that know this. They know that that's what it is, but they're operating under a system where they can't, you know, there have been whistleblowers, right? And what happens? They be, they get targeted, right? The whistleblowers get targeted. They get their lives destroyed. They get their names smeared and they get a target on their back, right? Because the people doing it, the, the way that the, the system is designed, right? It's designed to exploit um, exploit people's weaknesses and fears, you know, people that are in that system. They corrupt them. Once they corrupt them, then they use that against them, you know, and they, they that keeps it all under wraps so that they maintain the power, right? They maintain the power in the narrative. So, trust me, that's, it's real easy to see once you look for it. I mean, and there's no going back. Once you see it, you see it. You can't go back. You can't unsee what you've seen. I can't wake up tomorrow and, and say, no, nah, you know what? I think cops, I think they're good. I think they're all good. And I've just been wrong. No, I, it can't happen because I can't unsee the shit I've seen. I can't, uh. You can't forget about everything that they've done and everything that I've seen, you know, and they, and they, to this day, in my situation, nobody's, nobody held accountable. Matter of fact, I say about like Jason Owens, right? Was with Dillhole and he's the chief of police of Hastings now. And I say about him, uh, being accompanying Dillhole when they tried to kill me the first time, right? And, uh, he's now... He used to be a state police. Now he's a town cop. And so he's part of this, right? And what do you know? Like yesterday, I go to the Dollar General. And in line, right behind me in the Dollar General, could be a coincidence. 
could be a coincidence. But what do you know? Right behind me in the Dollar General in line is Jason Owens' dad, right? No, I didn't say anything to him. He didn't say anything to me. I'm not going to do that in public. I'm not going to confront people in public. That's their. That's what they want you to do. They want to intimidate you and shit. So it could be a coincidence that Jason Owens' his dad happened to be right behind me in line at the dollar store whenever I was leaving. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was by design. You know, these little things they do as intimidation tactics to get you in the mindset that doesn't matter where you go, they're going to have somebody following you. Somebody, you know, they're going to create a scenario at some point where they can take you out, right? So I'm, I'm no longer afraid. I don't care. It's, I've realized my, my life is not my own. I'm here for a purpose. And I just, I just do what I feel I need to do. And in doing so, I've been protected along the way. I can see it. You know, people that, that come against me, I, I see it. Bad things happen to them. Just just bad things that can't be explained, you know? Call it acts of God, whatever. I see these bad things happening to people that come against me. <laughs> when are you guys going to realize uh, that what I'm doing is the right thing? And when are you guys going to realize that um, if you are one of these people that are like coming after me uh when are you going to wake up and see everything for what it is and realize that you're on the wrong side when's that gonna i mean if it doesn't happen then then you're a, you're just destined to become a, a part of the lesson right part of the lesson that needs to be learned by so many people Okay, I, believe me, I'm not perfect. I'm sure I have lessons that need to be learned still. I'm not perfect by any means. But when it comes to what I'm talking about right now, right here, I, I'm right. Sorry, but I'm right. And nobody can say I'm wrong. Go ahead and try. You sound like an idiot. You know what I mean? And you expose yourself. If you If you say I'm wrong on this, and that I'm just like, what, what, I'm out for attention or, or I just hate cops or something? That, that's bullshit. That's an excuse. That's not the truth at all. So I realize, you know, this is, this is what I'm supposed to do, you know. So I'm, I'm not going to get keep getting caught up in the, the targeted individual thing, right? Oh, look at that. No connection. It says on my phone. I don't know why. I should have a connection right now. The internet. I mean, I should have Wi-Fi. But anyway, I'm not going to get caught up in the targeted individual crap anymore, right? Because that's a that's something that's does that was created by them to get you trapped in this, you know, in a label into a little box. Because it's easier to discredit you if you're a TI, right? Easier to discredit you if if you say you're being gang stalked, right? Because that term was created, right, to become something that they could create the narrative around. Because they they designed it so that the general public looks at it with ridicule. They look at it like, oh, gang stalking. Oh, yeah, a bunch of crazy people who broke the law. A bunch of crazy people, the cops are, yeah. People with half a brain look at it like, oh, you're being gang stalked. You must have done something wrong right? <laughs> you must have done something wrong if you're being gang stalked because that's something they, it's like they know. That's something that law enforcement does is like a vigilante justice thing. So you must have done something wrong or they wouldn't be gang stalking you, right? So <laughs> don't believe everything you hear. Don't believe anything you hear and only believe half of what you see. Do your own research, okay? Trust but verify. It's so important that you, you, you know, you can trust but verify. It's so important that you verify what you've heard or what you, what you choose to accept as the truth. Make sure you verify it first. Don't become controlled opposition. Don't become part of the problem, you know. And it's so easy to get wrapped up in it because normal good, good people don't think along these deceptive lines like that. They don't think... 
well, somebody would be, what a, they don't think that somebody would have lied to them about something like this. They don't even think about that because that's not, not how normal people think. You know, deceptive, evil people, uh, they know that they can lie to people like this and people will just believe it because they don't ask, they don't even think to themselves that people are capable of just blatantly lying to somebody about something like this. They don't think about that. That's hard to fathom, right? That people that are cops and first responders and, you know, heroes, right? They don't think that these people are just going to make something up about somebody and lie. They think if a cop or somebody's saying it, it's got to be true. Then why, why else would they say it? They wouldn't lie, right? They're, they're cops. They're good people. So it's, if you are one of these people that you think that if a cop's after you or if they have a warrant or anything that you must have done something wrong, you got to wake up, look into all these situations. There's so many testimonies of people that are innocent that have just been lied on, lied on right? That where these criminal police, right? The criminal corrupt police have just bold-faced blatantly lied about them. And they have manufactured the crime. And they just use people as a scapegoat. They're sick, evil motherfuckers. And their karma will come. Their judgment will come. It's not by me. I don't... I'm not the judge. I'm just, like I said, my life is not my own. I'm here to, you know, for a purpose. And I'm just following my path. Okay? And as long as I'm following my path and stand in my truth, my light, right? I can't be stopped. You will not stop me. You will never stop me. You can never stop me. And if you think that you can, if you think you will, you're gonna, I'm sorry, but you have another, you're gonna have a rude awakening. You have another thing coming. You're gonna realize at some point you'll wake up and say, and say, maybe I should stop doing this. Maybe this is the reason that all this bad shit's happening to me. Maybe he's right. Maybe, I, <laughs> you know, how many bad things have to happen to you for you to wake up and realize that it's because of what you're doing. Okay? It's because of who you're coming after, right? It's your intentions, right? Your intentions. Listen, you think your intentions are, are private? And that there isn't a higher power that knows the universe, knows your intentions. And when you have these bad, evil intentions, it's against universal law. And guess what? You will be judged. Your intentions, right, are what determine, uh, you know, if, uh, if you have good luck or bad luck. Put it that way. Good karma or bad karma. If you have good intentions... The true, truly good intentions, okay, then you shouldn't get the bad luck, right? You really shouldn't get the bad karma. And if you have truly good intentions and you speak on it, you speak openly about your true intentions and you just do it with no fear, then you should see the good luck. You should actually see the karma manifesting in, uh, in reality for you. You know, it'll, it'll be like, it'll be almost like divine, like everybody that comes after you, you know, something will get in their way, it'll stop them. And it's like something is, is something is just lighting the path for you and leading the way and letting, you know, helping you along the way. It's, it's your light that's lighting the path and, and you get your light and your power from your, from your divine purpose from your your purpose so live in your light if you feel like you should do something if you if you have that you know that intuition that that gut feeling you know you get that that feeling like you you should do something you should act on something not a reaction not an emotional response or reaction but one of these deep feelings you know like strong urge that you should do something you should probably do that Whatever that is, you should probably do that thing. And it's important to be able to determine the difference between an emotional, you know, urge to do something, right? A reaction and one of these deep urges, these deep uh, universal, you know, 
a high, higher, you know, you, if you're being guided and urged through from a higher power, it's a different feeling. So you know what I'm talking about when I say, if you get one of these these deep urges to do something and there's no explanation to why, it's not because it's, it's uh, you know, like a temptation. It's, you know, it's different than a temptation. It's, it's just a strong, a deep, strong urge to act on something and you do and you can't explain why you don't know why it's not normal that's what i'm talking about that's the things you, you probably act on and then you'll figure out why after you'll see after later on you'll say oh that's why i was supposed to do that okay because trust me when i say everything happens for a reason everything happens for a reason everything and you might not know the reason. You might not ever know, know the reason. But just trust that it is for a reason. And trust that it is all part of a design, a divine plan. Right? Remember, time is an illusion. Past, present, future is just an illusion. The only thing that's real is now. What you do today, right now. So what are you going to do today? Be good or be good at it. Peace out.